didn't see the killing or the body. How do you know there was a murder? Because everything this fellow's done has been suspicious. Trips at night in the rain, and knives, and saws, and trunks with rope, and now this wife that isn't there anymore. I admit it all has a mysterious sound. It'd be any number of things. Murder's the least possible. Now, Doyle, don't tell me he's an unemployed magician amusing the neighborhood with his sleight of hand. Now, don't tell me that. It's too obvious and stupid a way to commit murder. In full view of 50 windows, then sit over there smoking a cigar waiting for the police to come and pick him up. All right, officer, do your duty. Go over and pick him up. Jeff, you've got a lot to learn about homicide. Why, morons have committed murder so shrewdly it's taken a hundred trained police minds to catch them. That salesman wouldn't just knock his wife off after dinner and toss her in the trunk and put her in storage. I'll bet it's been done. Most everything's been done. Under panic. This is a thousand to one shot. We're still sitting around the apartment. That man's not panicked. You think I made all this up? Well, I think you saw something. There's probably a very simple explanation to it. For instance? Mm, wife took a trip. His wife was sick in bed. Yeah, so he told me. Well, Jeff, I've got to run along. I won't report this to the department. Let me poke into it a little on my own. No sense in you're getting a lot of ridiculous publicity. Thank you. Uh, we know the wife is gone, so I'll see if I can find out where. Do that. You uh, had any headaches lately? Not until you showed up. Uh, it'll wear off, along with hallucinations. See you around. months lease. Used up a little more than five and a half months of it. It's quiet, drinks, but not to drunkenness. Pays his bills promptly with money earned as a costume jewelry salesman, wholesale. Kept him himself. None of his neighbors got close to him or his wife. Yeah, well, I think they missed their chance with her. She never left the apartment. Where is she? Till yesterday ice morning. Box? What time? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. I think it's about the time I fell asleep. Too bad. Thorwalls were leaving their apartment at just that time. You a little foolish? No, not yet. How's your wife? Oh, she's fine. Who said they left then? Who left where? The Thorwalds at 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, the building superintendent and two tenants. Uh, flat statements, no hesitation. They jive to the letter. Thorwalds on their way to the railroad station. Well, now, Tom, how could anybody possibly guess that? What, did they have signs on their luggage saying Grand Central or bust? The superintendent met Thorwald on his way back. Thorwald told him that he'd put his wife on a train to the country. I see. I say, this is a pretty convenient guy, the superintendent. Have you checked his bank statements lately? Uh-huh. Well, what good's his information? It's a second-hand version of an unsupported story by the murderer himself, Thorwald. Now, did anybody actually see the wife get on the train? I hate to remind you, but this all started because you said she was murdered. Now, did anyone, including you, actually see her murdered? What do you... Are you, are you what do you do? Are you interested in solving this case or in making me look foolish? Well, if possible, both. Well, then do a good job of it. Go over there and search Thorwald's apartment. It must be knee-deep in evidence. I can't do that. Well, no, I don't mean right now, but when he goes out for a drink or a paper or something, what he doesn't know won't hurt him. I can't do that even if he isn't there. What's he, what's he have? A, does he have a courtesy card from the police department or something? Now, don't get me mad. Not even a detective can walk into an apartment and search it. 
Why, if I were caught in there, they'd have my badge within 10 minutes. All oh, right, make sure you don't get caught, that's all. What, if you find something, you've got a murder, and they don't care anything about a couple of house rules. If you don't find anything, the fellow's clear. At the risk of sounding stuffy, I'd like to remind you of the Constitution. A phrase, search warrant, issued by a judge who knows his Bill of Rights verbatim. He must ask for evidence. Give him evidence. I can hear myself. Your Honor, I have a friend who's a amateur sleuth. And, well, the other night, after having a heavy dinner, he'd, oh, he'd throw the New York State Penal Code right in my face. And there's six volumes. You know, by tomorrow morning, there may not be any evidence left over in that apartment. You know that. It's a detective's nightmare. Well, what, what do you need before you can search? Tell me, then, now, what do you need? Bloody footsteps leading up to the door? One thing I don't need is heckling. You call me and ask for help. I'm behaving like a taxpayer. How did we ever stand each other in that plane for three years during the war? Yeah, I guess I'll go to the railroad station and check on Thorwald's story. Oh, forget about the story. Find the trunk. Mrs. Thorwald's in it. Oh, I almost forgot. There was a postcard in Thorwald's mailbox. It was mail at 3.30 yesterday afternoon from Merrittsville. Uh, that's 80 miles north of here. Message went, arrived okay, already feeling better. Love, Anna. Oh, uh, is, is, is that, um, Anna? Is that who I think it is? Mrs. Thorwald. Uh, anything you need, Jeff? You might send me a good detective. 